What's going on, everybody? Happy Generational Wealth Wednesday. It's your guy, Jimmy, from my advisor, JimmyHoward.com. And it's Jimmy spelled J-I-M-M-I-E, not a Y. Uh, today, guys, I just want to come to you. Um, I want to dedicate this uh, Generational Wealth Wednesday to a fellow brother in arms, and that's King Nipsey Hussle. By now, all you guys will probably have heard uh, the tragedy that took place. But today's post, man, I don't even want to shed light on the tragedy of the situation. I want to talk about the blessing in the situation. Um, when I think about N Nipsey, it reminds me, if any of you guys really follow me and follow my posts, you know, recently I made a post about a new initiative that I'm doing. Um, and that is I Am Legacy. Now, the first initiative to the whole Generation of Wealth Wednesday platform was made myself a boss and that's where I made the attempt to uh, spread the importance of entrepreneurship and you know basically give people the hope and the courage to step out on faith and you know take that dive into entrepreneurship even if it's on a part-time basis or uh, something that you build up but with the I am legacy my whole goal with that is to show people how you can immortalize a lost loved one to the point where um, it, it can be beyond just getting RIP t-shirts and candlelight visuals, but you know, let's talk about establishing a memorial fund in the name of a loved one or a scholarship program in the name of a loved one, something like that. But in Nipsey, I'm, I think about um, a, a quote I heard from um, another hip hop icon, Bigger Rankin. If you heard the song uh, that he has uh, with YFN and Lucci, in the beginning of that song, he breaks down the difference between fame and notoriety. And he basically says fame is when people know you, but notoriety is when people know your work. And it's notoriety that leaves a legacy. And that's powerful because I think in today's society, you know, we get caught up in vanity metrics. So just think about, and what I mean by vanity metrics, I'm talking about social media in particular. You're talking about the number of likes a post may have or the number of shares. And beneath the surface, that stuff really doesn't mean much. What you have to pay attention to is the impact, not the impression. Does that person really make impact? And that was the thing about Nipsey. Without a doubt, man, he definitely made an impact on not only his community, not only on the culture, but the world at large. So I say to you and I say to myself, let's be mindful of the uh, messages that we put out and let's be intentional about our legacy, the legacy uh, that we leave here on this planet when we're dead and gone. Let's build something that's gonna live when we're no longer here you know um i also think about another quote where it says when you were born into this world you're born into this world crying while the world rejoices but you live your life in a way to where when you leave let the world cry while you rejoice be mindful guys it's very possible for you to have a following with no audience I mean an audience with no following I said it the wrong way let's not have an audience with no following let's be intentional guys again happy generation of wealth Wednesday